Background radiation is all around us. Some of it comes from natural sources and some of it comes from artificial sources. Natural sources include cosmic rays, radiation from rocks and soil released by the radon gas, and the living things that absorb the radioactive materials and pass it up the food chain. However, human activity is added to the background radiation by creating and using artificial sources of radiation. These include radioactive waste from nuclear power stations, radioactive fallout from nuclear weapons testing, and medical x-rays. There are three main types of radiation emitted from radioactive atoms. These are alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. Alpha radiation consists of alpha particles. An alpha particle is identical to the helium atom but without the electrons. So two protons and two neutrons are emitted from the nucleus reducing the atomic number by two and the mass number by four. Beta radiation consists of a high energy electron emitted from the nucleus. These electrons have not come from the electron shells or energy levels around the nucleus. Instead they form when a neutron splits into a proton and an electron and the electron then shoots out the nucleus at high speed. Gamma radiation is a very short wavelength on the electromagnetic spectrum. It can occur when there is energy left over after alpha or beta radiation has been emitted. Alpha radiation is the least penetrating. It can be absorbed by a thin sheet of paper. Beta radiation can penetrate air and paper. It can be stopped with a thin sheet of aluminium, however. Finally, gamma radiation is the most penetrating. Even a small level can penetrate air, paper, or thin metal. High levels can only be stopped by many centimeters of lead or many meters of concrete. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and want to see some more. You can also follow me on Twitter at DoodleSci if you want to.